to find it. producers are trying to find information they're trying to turn their their love for music into a livelihood oh, and there's right. just so much out there okay here's what it was it was it was transitioning from a job okay so here's two things and i know i'm, I'm wordy but this is important take a deep breath <laughs> okay so in the beginning every single bare every single um, minimum wage job or bare minimum job earning job you exchange time for money. That's every job in the entire world that's minimum wage. You're exchanging your time for money. It's not necessarily skill-based. You're trading your time for money. They pay you because you're on the clock, okay? That's the, the first level in making money is exchanging your time. That's the only thing everybody has is time. Now, rich people are smart. They don't sell their time anymore unless it's very high value time. So you have to create a system to transform the time that you're spending into money that you can later exchange the money for time again. And so in the beginning, take your job where you're exchanging your time for money, save 10% minimum. This is actually a principle in the, the richest man in Babylon book. It talks about pay yourself first. It just means automatically save 10% no matter what. Okay. So you take that 10%. Now that's the money you can now invest in your own business over time. So you're, you're spending 80 hours a week at your job. You take 10% of that, and now you invest it in your side business. You take that money, you hire employees, you get the systems you need, you get the email autoresponder you need, whatever it is, and you try to buy other people's time or a service that can help you save a lot of time so that you can use your spare 20 hours of that week and invest it in your side business. I did the same exact thing. I used to work at the university's, um, what is it called, dine hall or their, uh, where else did I work? Basically, I was a swiper. And I could do my homework while I was at work. So that's why I did it. So I took that money and on the side, I had a YouTube channel, but I had to wait like months to get paid because this is back when, excuse me, YouTube had those payment thresholds. I think it had to be over a hundred bucks and I would only get paid like every two months. So this was money that was actually supplementing me getting through college. So my full time was college. My part time was the part time dine job. And my third, second part time was the YouTube revenue. So those two part times were letting me survive so that I can spend full time at university because you had to pay for food and pay for uh, some things, gas and everything else. Not housing necessarily because I had a scholarship, but still I had to pay for some stuff. So after that point, I then a switch flipped after school. Since now school's not an obligation of my time, I now have full time access again. So now I take that all that time and I put it into one of those part time elements, which in this case happened to be the YouTube element, because it was something that was making money. It was a proven thing to make money. Whereas a part-time job wasn't proven to go above $7 an hour. It was limited. So now I'm taking time, investing it for money. Now I'm taking even more time that I found, but invested in something that gives me just a little bit more money for my time spent. So it's not necessarily exchanging money for time yet, but at least we're getting more money for our time. After that point, you then take the money that you're earning from all those things that you're into and buy your time back through employees or systems or whatever you need, BeatStars accounts. Can you imagine sending an email every time somebody wanted to order something? First of all, you would get disorganized. And second of all, people would get pissed because they're hitting you up at 3 a.m. Germany time <laughs> and you're asleep. And so people get mad about that. So you have to have systems. So you take that money, invest it into systems and processes and a team and whatever else you need. And then you get to buy back your time again. And that's how you get out of the rat race. It's not something where a lot of people tell people to quit their jobs and all this. But ultimately, it takes time. Time is the only thing that everybody has. It's just where do you invest that time? 